The reason that this all has occurred, the reason we have this kind of structural damage in this block foundation is because of the type of waterproofing system that went in. We're here in New Fairfield, Connecticut, and we've run into, once again, a system that was put in by another company, which is just the wrong system for this particular type of foundation. What you have down here is, underneath here, if this were to be removed, you'd get about an inch of, of concrete floor. Building code states you gotta have three and a half inches. I know I've talked about that in other videos, but the reason for that three and a half inches is so that you're back up against the four inches of floor and you're up against your wall and giving that support back to the wall. If you don't have that, when water builds up on the outside of your wall in your backfill area, it creates a lot of pressure. Without that support, you get movement like this, which causes that one inch of concrete to crack. This is their sump basket. Now, <clears throat> take that off there. It doesn't look like much water, if any water, has gotten to this basket because there's no pitch on this particular type of system. So for a basket to be this completely bone dry means that this system is entirely ineffective and not doing its job. Here's another typical thing. Because there is no pitch, um, these systems they require to leave a, uh, a clean out in them where they can get in. And they take like a power washer and they'll flush out all the stuff that grows in here and things like that. That's what occurs when there's no pitch on a system. If a system is put in correctly, it should be self-cleaning, perpetually self-cleaning, like our super dry system. This corner here, if you were to remove the concrete, doesn't have a bottom to it. So it's not even a continuous system. Kind of explains why we never got water back into that sump pit back there. It's, it's not a continuous system. The way this foundation was built is, the first thing they did was they poured a footing. Footings are traditionally 16 inches wide. Walls are eight inches. They put the eight inch wall in the middle of the, of the 16 inch footing and leaves the ledge on the outside of four inches and a ledge on the inside. Now this floor is poured so it goes over and it sits on that ledge and up against the wall and it holds the walls out. We talk about it being three big pieces of concrete that fit together, that form your, the strength and integrity of your foundation. The wall sits on the footing, the footing so supports the floor and the floor holds the walls out. That's completely interrupted with this type of system. And here's what happens. When you have a system that doesn't manage that water table that builds up on the outside of your walls, you run into a, this scenario here. It starts up here, and you can see, it's what we call like a Christmas tree crack where it follows the mortar joints and then goes down here and gets into here. You're gonna see that it's drastic. You can see how much of a gap there is. For that wall to have that big of a gap, it has moved in two to three inches. That's being pushed by water that builds up on the other side. That water builds up on the other side because it's the wrong type of waterproofing system in here. Our super dry system it puts in about this much drainage, about that deep, and really minimizes and expedites the percolating process on the outside of the wall. It's what we call a false water table that builds up out there. The reason we call it false is because it's temporary. It comes with a good heavy rain, and then over 10 days to two weeks or, or a little longer, it'll, it'll dissipate, it'll drop back down. While it's way up there, it's pushing on the walls and that's what happened here because this system that's installed did nothing to facilitate the, or expedite the drop of that water that builds up on the outside of the walls. The system that we do will maintain that water down in an area about this high on the outside of the walls where it's really not a structural problem. It's not gonna be pushing on the wall in a way that this would, that this would occur to the point where our, we have a special guarantee warranty. If we put your system in and your wall did this, we would fix it at no cost to you, the customer. If your floor cracked in any way, shape or form, we would fix it at no cost to you, the customer. The people that do these have real expensive um, repair systems that they use for the wall and especially on the floor um, sometimes can be as much, if not more, than what your actual waterproofing cost to begin with. We have a really significant step down crack here. There's, it's a major gap in the wall. This is all gonna be fixed. It's all gonna be resupported and tied in with, with this major crack that's going all down here.
we're finishing up here in New Fairfield. The wall was definitely in need of great repair. That water's been pushing on it for a long time, and it finally gave out and cracked it all the way across, cracked the corners, did a horizontal crack. It's all been repaired. We've strengthened that wall every bit as strong as it was before. Once again, you got to be careful what type of waterproofing system that you pick. You got to know exactly what type of foundation you have, and then make sure that you fit the right waterproofing system to your particular type of foundation. It's so important or else you're going to be running into problems like this. Well, it turned out great. And hit that like and subscribe if you would so you can see other videos that we're going to be putting out shortly.